Hey, what's up guys? This is Nicole and Scott with ResCast Media and uh, we're just going to visit with you a little bit today about digital storytelling and uh, the importance of media and uh, how we use it today with uh, you know the, all the modern technologies and stuff like that. And uh, so just to kind of kick things off, um, you know, in this day and age, um, you know, as indigenous people, as native people, we're really, uh, we've always been a, uh, a uh, our ways have always been passed down orally. We've, uh, um, they've never been written. It's always been passed down through stories. Stories especially are really important because they're easier to remember. They pack a lot of emotion. And uh, so that's how they've been passed down. But in, the, in this era that, that we're in it seems like uh, we have less storytellers we have less um, less of that knowledge being passed down so you know we can utilize today's technology such as cameras and you know good sound equipment and stuff to uh, kind of use it as a preservation tool to to uh, preserve it and pass it on uh, that way for sure man. oh yeah yeah and I feel like you know with our our native people, man, we're storytellers, I think, by nature, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of people, you know, we don't even realize it sometimes, you know, because you think to maybe the funniest person you know, the funniest friend that you have, chances are they're a really good storyteller. Yeah. They can recount something that happened to them or something that happened with the boys, you know, way back when, and they can retell it in a way that makes everybody laugh, Yeah. you know, and that's storytelling. Um, not only are we storytellers, but you know, we're, we like to laugh, you know, as yeah, Indians, we always, yeah. we're always laughing. Um, and, and stories go along with that, yep. you know, and, um, with the technology that we have today, um, you know, with, even with like something like TikTok, you know, that's yeah. kind of, the kids are all into that and that's really like a storytelling app. You know, you're telling a story in short little videos Yeah, and you know, I, I just think, I just think we we need to highlight that that you know we're we're still telling stories as as natives to this day we're mm -hmm. telling stories and just the way that we're telling them has changed yeah that, that's the only difference really yeah in in using like uh, media like in digital storytelling you're really on the other end of that mm -hmm. so you it really opens a door of creativity to um, it's like art yeah um, you know you can have like Scott can we can have the same concept of a video they can say okay we need a video on any particular subject and we can both go out and make the same video and it's going to be different just just like a drawing you ask us to draw a tree his is going to look different than mine it's same with video you it's it's the guy behind the lens is kind of uh, sees it in his mind first, and any and any he, oh, yeah. he gets the shots that he wants to uh, to uh, you know put into it. So it, it's really a, a creative way. Uh, it's like art, though. Yeah, you know, and like everything art. with art, you know, like making videos, doing photography, drawing, painting, doing beadwork. All of that, man. All of that is storytelling. You know, you're telling a story through the art that you make yeah and some some stories like with video i'm sure that the stories are more overt yeah whereas if you're doing a painting or even like beadwork something like that though those stories are a little more subtle but i still think there's stories yeah. in all types of art and capturing those stories and highlighting those stories and making those stories known yeah that's what makes art special that's yeah. what makes art different from everything else yeah and you know sometimes we we forget that that there's stories found in in all types of art yeah and um sometimes i think sometimes we forget that yeah yeah there was also something that was shared with me um you know speaking of the different mediums of art and beading and painting and stuff is um you know one of my aunties shared with me is that you know whenever i've done a cd whenever i've done uh, you know whether it be the cover design whether it be uh, you know the actual recording of it there's always little mistakes and I used to like try to be a perfectionist yeah. and try to fix that and one time she shared with me she says when there's mistakes leave them mm -hmm. because they're supposed so like because she's a beater too and yeah. and she paints 
and she noticed that whenever she was doing a piece of like beadwork there was always like a bead that yeah. was a little bit out or a little bit off and you know I know some people that bugs them they want to fix it they want it to be perfect but she says you know that kind of it kind of makes it yeah. unique she said so yeah. because one of my very first albums that I put out I had a, a spelling error in the cover uh -huh. and I was and I was making a big deal about it and that's when she told me about it she goes just just leave it it's yeah. supposed to be that way yeah so I'm like okay so uh -huh. my first album I, I I think it was even my name I think or something there was something in there that was a it was a misspelling but she said just just leave it yeah. so I just I just learned to like it it really does it it's kind of freeing to to kind of yes uh, not have that pressure of perfectionism it's just yeah. kind of you know what let it unfold the way it yeah. unfolds you know when we try and make things perfect you said it perfectly like that's kind of it's freeing when we know that everything doesn't have to be perfect yeah you know and i like to think that the story the story comes first above anything else yeah um above perfection above even quality right i would rather have something that has an interesting story that might not be up to you know super high quality yeah but it has a good story yeah whereas you know you could find you come across certain types of art or media and they may be shot perfectly they may you know yeah super crispy but the story is not there right and all you're looking at is some cool pictures and that's it yeah you know, i'd rather have a good story i'd rather be invested and, and interested in in the story in, in hearing a good story yeah i agree yeah. i agree so with that we just want to share with you guys um a little bit about what we do we do a lot of uh, media work and video and audio and graphics and things like that and uh that's our modern day storytelling.